Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to discuss about the OpenShift uh, uh, container platform installation process. Okay. So when it comes to OpenShift container platform installation, there are uh, two main processes. Okay. One is installer provider infrastructure or IPI and another one is user provider infrastructure or UPI. Okay. So what exactly installer provider infrastructure means? So normally when you want to download a software from any site like uh, Microsoft site or Red Hat site and install what you do you go to the site log into log in with your credentials and download uh, installer file right and then start installing in case of you know uh, Windows you just double click or just right click and uh, start the installation in other open uh, operating system right so in case of uh, installer provider infrastructure Red Hat provided a built-in uh, installer program, okay? So what exactly the built-in installer program? It has all the configuration details, like when you install OpenShift, you need a master node configuration, worker node configuration, and bootstrap node configuration, and also the igni ignition file that are needed to ignite your uh, environment features, right? So all these files are bundled and then configured with the default values and given to you for installing okay so this is installer provider infrastructure program of installing your openshift container platform okay so this is similar to uh, flying in a parachute where the parachute is designed and built in with a pilot chute okay the pilot chute what it will do you just need to press a button so the pilot chute will trigger and open the main parachute and then you can fly in the sky okay so everything is built in and ready for you to fly and the second method of installation is user provider infrastructure okay so what exactly the user provider infrastructure this is just opposite to installer provider in, uh, infrastructure right uh, user means you you are going to install in your environment of your choice either on-prem or uh, cloud environment or private cloud or public cloud okay so you define your VMware or VM machines and then uh, you uh, configure how many number of uh, master node needed and how many number of workers node needed okay so all the configurations are given to the user to define okay this is uh, um, this is not uh, like the installer provider infrastructure where all the values and number of nodes are built in and defined with the default values okay so in user provider infrastructure um, installation process what happens you go and download the same installer program from um, red hat site okay so after downloading the install program what you do you modify the configurations according to your infrastructure requirement okay so you download the installer from red hat site and then uh, open that um, installer config.yaml and then make the changes according to your infrastructure okay so after making the changes you will start uh, installing the same installer program um, how it was uh, installed in the ipi uh, method installer provisioned infrastructure method okay so um, in case of uh, user provider infrastructure method or UPI, uh, the main difference is uh, the configuration files values are defined according to the customer needs. Okay, and the customer uh, can uh, customize this file according to your infrastructure requirement. Okay, and uh, the processes like you know creating virtual machines, creating uh, master nodes, creating worker nodes, all these are mostly manual. Okay. So in case of a UPI or user provider infrastructure method of installing a OpenShift container platform, almost 90% of the activities will be done manually. Okay. So the benefit of IPI is um, it has all built in features. All you need to do is just click a button. So it will install all the details in sequence uh, for setting up your OpenShift cluster. Uh, but if you are a, a customer and you wanted to define your own infrastructure uh, for uh, installing OpenShift cluster platform, IPI is not suitable, okay? Though it has like built-in features, but if you want to customize, IPI is not suitable for you. So you have to go for UPI, 
okay so the advantage of epi is you can define your own values and you can uh, and define number of uh, master nodes number of uh, worker nodes uh, bootstrap node and how much memory that you want to provide so all these details you can uh, define by uh, your own values okay so this is the advantage of upi there are pros and cons in both the methods but it's up to you to decide uh, based on your requirement okay um and uh, this upi is similar to uh, hot air balloon okay in opposition to the ipi uh, where uh, ipi is similar to uh, built in uh, featured parachute where you can uh, just click a button and fly in the sky but in case of uh, upi you have to first uh, create um, fire and with fire equipments and the uh, fire will uh, lighten the air and then uh, because of the light air your hot air balloon will fly in the sky okay so lighting up fire arranging fire equipment all these are all manual process okay you have to do the manual process in terms in terms uh, if you want to go for a upi method of installing open shift cluster platform okay so hope you might have got uh, an overview of what exactly the open shift cluster platform installation process and what are all the two methods like uh, ipi and upi ipi is installer provided infrastructure and upi is user provided infrastructure um, so these two are uh, the major installation process of open shift cluster platform and um, if you want to know more about uh, the installation process i have provided all the details in the description below you can go through it and if you have any questions put in the comments box below we can collaborate and we can talk more about the open shift cluster platform installation process and if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and we can uh, discuss more about the open shift cluster platform all right take care bye